so you can have all the latest and greatest in terms of what's up for Mary and life. Because, hey, you, you all know what we're devoted to here. We're devoted to helping you attract and create a healthy, fulfilling, sustainable relationship. And all the myriad of ways we try to bring that to you, we, drink, we bring you vlogs, that's with a V, right? Our video blogs. My last one, it was humiliating. I had a face mask on, or what do you call it, a you know, mud mask on my face. And I decided at that moment it was the time to talk about meditation and multitasking. I write my weekly blog. You can go to Hollywood online and find out our expert advice. I was just down at the pre-Oscar parties. You can see that video there. You can actually get all of our archived radio shows on the left-hand side and on and on and on. And, and if you haven't gotten a copy of my latest book, Hindsight, what you need to know before you drop your drawers, go ahead and do that now. We've got it all set up to make it real easy. One, two, three, click, and the book will be in your hands, I think, within like 72 hours. All right, enough about that. Enough about me. Let's talk about, let's talk about somebody who is very funny and is going to make you laugh your head off, Freeman Hall. Uh, I, I got to tell you, when I met Freeman, we were in, in the green room going on to a talk show ourselves, and uh, I just fell in love with this guy right away. You know somebody when you can talk about what's most real without flinching or feeling unconscious or self-conscious or any of those conscious things. Uh, you just fall in love. You do. Freeman's love affair with stories and books began when he was two, by the way. According to his mom, he would chew and eat his clothes, baby books, and so on until they were in tatters. No, he would chew his cloth baby books. Okay, I don't know where the clothes thing came in, but I really like the visual. He'll have to tell if, it, if that's true if he ate his clothes. Uh, apparently, entire books disappeared. I, I'm thinking this guy's brilliant. Talk about really getting into learning, <laughs> right? Really, really digesting that learning. Yeah, he was freakishly strange uh, in terms of being creative as uh, growing up in Reno, Nevada. And he was always writing stories, like the one about the two-headed killer piranha fish with wings flying out of the Truckee River and attacking downtown Reno. Yeah, what a great imagination. He's currently living in L.A., California. He's a writer, humorous screenwriter, blogger, and video filmmaker, creator of the Rogue blog site, Retail Hell Underground. He's created a safe space for tortured sales associates to vent and find relief. Thank God for that. Welcome to the program, Freeman Hall.